So he threw his stick, which I think that's a bit excessive. Like, I don't even think I've thrown a controller when I've got angry before. Are you yeah. serious? Oh, what? Yeah, well, he, uh, wasn't, wait. he wasn't in he the w- game. He weren't like, in Super the Nintendo Super Nintendo days. days. No. no. But anyway, no. threw his thing. That, that in itself, you're like, eh, bit, bit over the top, mate. Got stuck <laughs> up a fucking eucalyptus tree, like 15 <laughs> metres off the ground. Like, super good. Oh, and God. how it got stuck, though, was just like, in a, in a V, just the head. <laughs> the chances <laughs> of it fucking happening. Listen. Welcome to the Trusty Crowbar Podcast. I was like, what is it again? It's a podcast. <laughs> is he bringing us in like yeah. that? Yeah. Uh, uh, being... Shut oh. up, mate. <laughs> this is episode 99. 99 bottles. 99. What bottles? Oh, I don't know. You can't drink this podcast. <laughs> Probably not. 99 crowbars. 99 You've got crowbars. 99 problems. What are we calling our 99 listeners? 99 problems. What are our listeners Crowbarians. called? Crowbarians. Crowbarians. <laughs> Crust, oh, oh, <laughs> crusty. <laughs> crusty bars. <laughs> crusty bars. <laughs> uh, crusty bars. What? What? <laughs> you, you swapped around. You said the crusty bars. Crustodians. Crust- That's better. <laughs> yeah. I do like Crustodians. How about we just talk about the games? The Crustodian. The play games. What's your name? My name is Douglas Bright. I'm Lucas Winningslow. I'm Reese Winningslow. And special guest. Damn it! He could have just done it so smoothly. (laughs) Could have, but we have to. And I was going to say, and our very special guest. Well, let's just let Reese say it. He's trying to say his name about three times now. Yeah, you know. What's your name? Marcus. Uh, <laughs> Sucker. No one's going to know. All right, so what have we played? Actually, oh, we've got, we've got questions. We've got, no, no, we've got questions for Marcus because this is his first time on the Trusty Crowbar podcast. Yeah. He's probably How do on. you feel? That's, that's not one of the questions. How do, do you feel? I, I urge you do not answer that, Marcus. It's not a good question. It's not a that not one of the free questions. No, the three, there are like three questions. So I'm a long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first question. Last year, what was your game of the year? Yeah, that's hard. <laughs> I mean, probably Dragon Age, even though I'm probably about uh, sixty hours into it. Sixty hours of See, that's only like twenty hours to finish. Yeah, well, he's almost what, got through the intro. What made you? <laughs> what made you Keep it. playing that game. Not buy it because it's just good advertising. Yeah. But what made you keep playing that game? How far into it did you get, Rhys? Two and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you got ten hours in. So, you. So you He's lying like, to you. I part. don't like when people say, you just got to get out of the hinder ledge. Well, <laughs> and then, like, then you enjoy it. <laughs> don't enjoy that. I really right? need to play no. this game. What? But what made you enjoy it? Uh, like what kept you involved? Let him answer one of know. your questions. What, made you, <laughs> what, what, what was your like what, what possessed you to pick up and the controller? Would you say it's because? <laughs> <laughs> like, so you agree with me that it's not a good game? <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> yeah, I counter that point. Like. <laughs> hey, my first question. <laughs> really? Yeah. I now I notice unfair. that you're dodging this question. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I need it for again. <laughs> oh, it just comes out. Look how red he's getting. Right. You two people could see how red Lucas is getting. It's probably the same color. Just lay down. I love that your white. two colors is pasty white and now and beetroot red. <laughs> beetroot red? Isn't beetroot purple? No, I'm no. color blind. <laughs> oh, you are I'm sure orange is a green, right? Actually, right, so, no, sorry, I do have a question. Oranges, does anything else look like an orange? To you. That's round. At the, su- at the supermarket. That's round. <laughs> yeah, so Any, like anything it? round. Other Whoa, than Carl Pilkington's head. Why have head. an issue with that? I don't know. Just, uh, does a, why would you so think you orange? You're not speci- Where did you decide that orange I'm was I'm just asking. Color? I don't know. People are just like, like a colour, man. It's... it's Red green that is the general colour blind. We're not colour blind. We don't know that well, shit. I don't know it either. Like, <laughs> well, I can't seem like you do. Oh, oh, but oh, I'm colour blind, so I'm yeah, a professional red, red. at being colour blind. I'm not. <laughs> did I say that? Hang on, are you colour blind as well? No. Oh. I just did biology. Ah, oh, look at this. What a nerd. So now, you would know. Wait, I'll just ask Can Marcus. we just go back to whatever your stupid yeah. first what question What possessed you to keep playing? 
Oh, like what? Not possession, but what made you want to? Just keep put it in it? the comments below. <laughs> Why did you enjoy it? Uh, just drew me in, kept me on. Is it a story? Wait, is it the sexy why women in it? You had to ask it like it was an attack. Hey, why did you keep playing this? <laughs> why why mother two hours? <laughs> I played two hours. No mother two Just hours. Let him talk, man. <laughs> That's how you are. That was like the most aggressive question. So what possessed Marcus, you? Marcus, what made you want to keep playing this game? It just drew me in, kept me going, you know? It, I, I really like the Mass Effect series. Okay, that was yeah. going to be my question. Yeah. Are you a fan of Bioshock? Oh, Bioshock. 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 Uh, Bioshock. 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 Are you a fan of Bioshock? Because I like Dragon Age is so similar. <laughs> similar mechanics. <laughs> well, I just didn't feel like it had as much of an open world to like... For me, when I was playing it, to just go out and do what I want. You just you didn't get scoring. far in the open how world, far, mate. How far into it did you get? I saw some green things. Oh, that's not very far. Some plants. You can see those in the first mission. Yeah, I know. What are you playing it on? Xbox One. Mm. All right, looks like we got to get him off the podcast. I don't know, have you told <laughs> no, us that before? No, Marcus has both. Well. Marcus did I have come all in and buy systems. Oh, do you? Yeah. And away you. And away you. And away you. You really do. Mm. Good job. Good effort. Yeah. Yep. We got another full game. And decide to play it on an Xbox. Oh, I had an Xbox One before I got... got when did you get so. a P- Oh, okay, that makes PS4 sense. Only this year, so... Oh, yeah. all right, makes sense. So that would be your game of the year. So that's... Uh, I'd say it's probably tied with Sunset Overdrive, which is uh, another Xbox One exclusive. Yeah, yeah. So... Tried that for a little bit. Did, did, you, did you ever play Jet Set Radio? No, but I was told that that was very, very yeah. similar to it. It seems yeah. like it's really, really yeah. similar to it all. I've got an easy question. Last game you played... Infamous Second Son. Oh. How's that going? I'm Bit old school. It. Really liking it. Yeah. Have you only just started it? No. Oh. 76% for it. Yeah. I know that because I was playing it before I came here. That being said, you, Literally probably, just you probably only played that game for about 20 minutes because it's so small. Well, I have found it's pretty small. I, that's, I've done pretty much everything in the world. Yeah. And I think, yeah. That game I is about the only game that I've ever completed. No, not ever, but like in a long time, 100%. Because yeah. I was just like, I'll just do yeah, it. You did 100% like, 100%. It? Completely. Did you have to game guide that, that to do that? Like, no, it's just, no, it's pretty easy. Just go just here, do that. Jesus. So. Just GTA, just, what would be, you're like, yeah, oh, 27% I've finished the game. Yeah, mm. like, exactly. 100% is like an extra 80 hours or something like that. Yeah, yeah that's fair. All right. Jesus. Um, okay. 200 deaths. Wait. Yeah. Dragon Age. All right, years. Dragon Age. Okay, second question. Oh, fuck, I forgot. Okay, right. what third question? You were the host of the year. No, That's no. why we didn't do that as the bloody I should have option down. at the end of 2014. Game podcast host of the year, Lucas Whittingslow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> After he's just finished laughing, recovered from that, just hasn't just been able to talk for two today. minutes, and I'm now he's like... All. He ran through it all with work, no, no. At work today. I he's did. Like, Be prepared, go home, get this ready. Why would you razz him up like that? There was yeah, definitely... Was like, Oh, I'm just going to sleep. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> That's what I'm like, I need to sleep. I need to sleep. I would have quite angry if I got told to get ready for questions and then like, just question time. Them. Yep. Any other question? Yeah. What game are you most looking forward to this year? Bum, bum, bum. For 2015. Yeah, that's 2000 war. Ooh. He didn't realise that. 2000 war. There's a war. <laughs> what war's <laughs> happening? <laughs> Wait, has anyone played Dying White yet? Yeah, I gave it a go. But oh, it's not right. out in Australia on physical discs yet. So oh. how did you get it? I you played at a conference. It. Well, that doesn't count. It counts that to me. That demo was broadcasted for two years. Doesn't matter. I played it still. It's I played that same now. demo two years ago. You yeah, can't yeah, even you... kill zombies anymore. No, you can only run. Yeah, there's no zombies yeah, in the come game. come night time, you just got to run. Yeah, you just run around. And you become a zombie. Hmm. I like that I was listening uh, today that... In the co-op version, you can become a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I you like believed what we were saying. No, you really can. Yeah, no, no, you can. I know you can. There, yeah. is, a, there is a become a zombie yeah. mode. Yeah, I know. And yeah. you get that for free if you live in Australia or Europe or whatever. The places that aren't getting it's the, um, get all the physical copy yeah. get all the DLC for free, which is pretty sick. I like it. It makes me happy. All right, sorry. Back to the question. 2015, what excites you? Probably it's probably tied with The Witcher Three and Metal Gear Solid Five Phantom Pain. Right. I have to say both of those are looking. Have they shown anything more for Metal Gear? Yeah, yeah there's, there's been about four thirty minute gameplay trailers. Oh, I'll just yeah, that zone that out. out. Yeah. yeah, it's like the Nintendo stuff for you. Yeah, pretty much. It's just yeah, like, oh yeah, that's a thing. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Just checking the mic. 
Is it good? Is no. his microphone good? I don't know. Have you got his mic muted? You dipshit. Oh, it is muted. Yep, you oh. dipshit. Let's re ask those hey, questions. Marcus, can you oh, hear me now? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I'm Marcus Sorry, Reed. everybody, if you <laughs> did not hear Marcus talking for the first time. <laughs> I didn't half. hook this up. Hey, you're the one that starts it. Lucas, I saw Stop you plug it in. That made me put Post it over there. Post of the year. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Go on, We can play him and call it early. Yeah. That's, that's the um, title of the podcast. Doug, maybe put it over there so I couldn't look at it and touch things. Don't make so. excuses, Lucas. Oh, and it's want... also on audio on answers. It's not answers. What do you want? What's the, what do people say? Don't make excuses. Make solutions. <laughs> is that right? No, it no, is. that's not people, right. I don't think people say that. No. It sounds dumb. Whereas Lucas just creates problems. Yeah. You're like the opposite. You, no one would ever call you Don't problem create solver. problems, create solutions. Bang. Yeah, yes. that's the saying. Is it a saying? No. Oh. Shut up! You're making it. <laughs> Jeez <laughs> Louise! Marcus's microphone's taken off. Yeah. It's like, well, Marcus is leaving. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it was it registered. Marcus was like, like I'm, I'm out of this podcast. Not happy about this. Not here anymore. All right. All right. Okay. Final question. For Does Marcus. that mean I need a reintroduction then? This is Marcus. Yeah. Even though you didn't even get a chance to say your name properly anyway. No. Yeah. That's fine. Question, Luke. Okay. Final ask. question. Okay. What was your most disappointing thing that happened last year in video gaming? Or what game disappointed you the most, basically? I, I was going to have a funny <laughs> answer to what disappointed you in the gaming industry that actually, like, the trusty crow. <laughs> biggest disappointment. I'd say the end of the year. The end of the year? Yeah, the end of the year. What, the 2014 well, was over? No. It's like, that, that no, day, it was like, know, like, New Year's Eve? We got to about... <laughs> If you look at the launch schedule, it was pretty steady throughout the year of roughly two games per month. And then you got to about October, which is when Shadow of Mordor came out. And then after that, every single game that released had launch problems. Oh, yeah, you're right. Assassin's Creed Unity was terrible and required a 40-year... So you reckon that Assassin's well, Creed? That was, I was really looking forward to that game. Very disappointed. I, I liked some of the aspects of it, but they tried too hard, I reckon, and too early in the life cycle of the, game, of the console. Mm-hmm. And but then they'll, they'll bring out another one in yeah, six months. Yeah, well, anyway, they already are. Yeah. It's already it, before the game yeah, even released. Say, Assassin's Creed, uh, um, Assassin's Creed Glitchin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like a London. And then it's like we know this game's fucked. Yeah, so like, um, they could have just released a, a press release, just saying, "Yeah, it's uh, in-game animus effects yeah. with all the glitches." You know, like it's supposed to I do that. That wouldn't work well. Then. That would have been. I would have gone along with like, Ubisoft. Oh, this hey. guy should work for because it. they've yeah. already started playing up the aspect that it is kind of for the people. Yeah, it's like you're playing a video game. Like they've done that mm. for the people from. Black Flag onwards. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, well, they could have easily integrated that, but then it's a bit of a cop-out, and people would have got super mad about it. <laughs> They're like, you can't cover in actual, glitches. actual glitches with in-game glitches. Yes, their faces went crazy <laughs> inside <laughs> out. The damn animus playing <laughs> up again. <there. laughs> yeah, it's all those illegal programs we're downloading and <laughs> transporting everywhere. Memory must be loops. It's true. Um, it could happen. But I wonder as well if... They, yeah, you know, I guess that would be on like ruthless product cycles to get stuff out. So, you know, had they just had another three months, would everything have been smooth? Maybe. Yeah, well, just thing. They could have just postponed it like every other company does. Yep. Well, but GTA, they did, didn't they get postponed? GTA no. postponed the launch of GTA Online and that buggered up. Well, they, I Halo think Master they, Chief Collection was meant to be perfect online, had no online functionality. This is the thing, like, I think Rockstar at least smart because they know that like, if we release a game that's got shit wrong with it, people will get angry. Wouldn't the PC one get delayed again or is that still coming out? Yeah, yeah it's no, it got delayed. Yeah. Well, I yeah. think I know why they've delayed the PC one. It's because they're bringing out the PC probably at the same time with Heist. Yeah, yeah. Just, and they don't no, want they well, Heist said, with them. They said that Heist will launch before the PC. Yeah, yeah but they is. don't want Heists to be bad, as what Marcus was saying the actual GTA Online launch was. Oh, that was woeful. Yeah. The launch day, you couldn't even get into a lobby, yeah. let alone play the game. You can't. You don't remember this risk because you no, didn't have the I internet. Didn't have internet, so I was just playing by myself. <laughs> oh, by myself. But how much longer would you prefer to wait, like for a game? Like, had it been? Well, blah, I've waited blah. an extra two years for Broken Age, and I don't mind, and just so that it actually yeah, comes out good. Clearly, they wouldn't have had like major gameplay elements if it's just like not heist, but just say GDA or like Assassin's Creed, where it's like. It's playable, but there's some like silly glitches and stuff that are really like, how did that get into the game? But would you pref- 
prefer. That's probably not the best example because a lot of people just didn't like or don't like the series anymore, and they're just a little bit, you know, over it, I guess. But um, yeah, would you prefer to have waited three months, and would you have been happy? Or like GDA had it launched and had some like, yep, still the same great game, but there had been some really obvious bugs. Would that have annoyed you to the point, or would you prefer oh, to just play it now? Bugs, yeah, it well, everyone. but not yeah. game breaking though. Like is just minor assass- bugs kind of thing. Yeah, well, like isn't Assassin's Creed is there really that many game breaking bugs? Isn't no, it just like I, I had a friend that played Assassin's Creed Unity, and he said there was like, like he never had any issues. Yeah, like, I, like, I like played the jumpy it three. Thing. I played a fair bit when it came out, and probably put about 20, 30 hours into it. That's co-op and all that. And I only had game breaking in the co-op, and I had about four or five times in the single player. That was it. But it wasn't really game breaking. It was just I had to reset it. Yeah. So. Yeah. So that's the thing. It's like stuff that's yeah, like I guess gripes where they shouldn't be there, but they are. But then I don't know. Like if you're super G'd up for something, would you want to play the perfect version, but or just have it now? Well, they both made up for it. Uh, Assassin's Creed Unity released a free DLC and Halo Master Chief Collection gave out the free Halo free OD- ODST but that's not out yet is it? no that comes out soon apparently yeah. but on the same perspective too. obviously those huge companies when the launches are so big now it's like well do you do it get that bit of backlash and you know that there's going to be a core group of fans that are going to buy the game anyway like when it comes out yeah it's a hard think. balance between we need to make money back on the investment but we've already done now say it's it's a, like well, Assassin's even, Creed if they missed their window and then it ended up like what did it come out against uh, same day as Halo yeah. I think but then, was it Halo I think it was yeah. what yeah. was the next was it before it GDA was then after, after, they were, were they after, after Call after. of Duty but then before yeah. the new version yeah. Everything was, but you know yeah. as in like if you look back through the launch of they would know what other things are coming out it's like well do I just launch now and like a bit of a you know hiccups along the way but you get it out before another title that comes out well what was it if you looked at it, the launch schedule for November from last year and beginning of last year it was ridiculous it was like 10 games in that month and then The Witcher yeah, jumped. Well, there was like three Ubisoft games Yeah, there was well. like three Ubisoft like games Bark in the space Ride, of a day. Assassin's Creed and The Crew. Was, the Crew yeah, got, the crew pushed, got back, like, pushed back to December. Yeah. And then, but still, like Assassin's Creed and Far Cry came out so close together. It was, like, it was like, at least Far Cry 3 came out a month after the Assassin's yeah. Creed. But, but then you'd wonder like at the end, who at those studios are making the decision? as well like how connected it like is it more the marketing guys like that are probably a little bit further disconnected from like their core audience like who's ultimately yeah push it out or don't push it out like Mm -hmm. the the financial officers like we're running out of money send the game now (laughs) but we need more money (laughs) like they're so it's so far disconnected now it's not like when there's a game studio like obviously the designers and then you've got the publisher as well like there's so many people that are saying yes or no before you know versus just little independent studio says no we'll just well launch we dates out. launch yeah. dates has decided beta. yeah yeah decided way in advance yeah that's like, what i well, mean and then like yeah they can push it but it's like you know who's making what decision when well so many games do get pushed these days which is you know, well, at least you looked at it out that. of last year as much as as bad as what watchdogs was it worked even though it got pushed back yeah. five months, it worked at launch. It, it, didn't, it worked. It didn't have anything that was wrong with it apart from a pretty ordinary story. Yeah, pretty ordinary. Except except very ordinary. ordinary. Yeah. They completely took well, everything in it. Yeah. And that's the cops coming after Lucas. Uh-huh. Host As of always. the year. Yeah. <laughs> they, um... Yeah, they did get backlash, but lots of the Ubisoft games just get so much of a backlash from it. Well, I reckon they're thinking more money nowadays than everything else, so... Yeah. True. But even Call of Duty messed up last year as well. It took a day to get the servers properly working. So really? A day's even, not even bad. Halo's managed to mess up a beta, and that's saying something. <laughs> Doug's just got what is that? <laughs> Pavlova? No, custard. Uh, uh, custard. Custard tart. tart thing, just like yeah. yourself. Yeah. yeah. So this is yeah. now a unboxing of the custard tart, and <laughs> how is it, Doug? Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> Um, so, what have you played recently, Marcus? Other than Dragon Age, like what's uh, and Infamous? Um, I messed around a bit with Don't Starve. Oh yeah, yeah. Are you playing it on PlayStation or Xbox? Oh, or I got what? it on PlayStation. It doesn't release on Xbox. Oh really? Yeah. Good on them. So there's a lot of games that I found that aren't coming out on Xbox One. Doug was saying, yeah, well, 
Indie Xbox one. has that um, ID at Xbox. Yeah, ID at Xbox. Yeah. So, but it doesn't... majority of those games are either already released on PlayStation or... Yeah. yeah mm. so. well, you were saying something about it just must be really simplistic for developers to make stuff for the PlayStation 4. It, yeah, it actually is because in um, cause we've got uh, Game Maker and the exports of Game Maker has like Windows, Mac, Linux. No, I don't think that aspect. I don't think the development necessarily is that much different. it's cheaper to get it on the platform. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think it's just like Sony have made it easy for small studios, like cheaper. And like I think the process is a lot easier. Um, I also think like the development is much simpler as well. I'm pretty sure that the coding architecture and stuff for PS4 is very close to what like PC and stuff is. Because... Like in Game Maker and stuff, the, the literally the exports are Windows, Mac, Linux, PS4, PS Vita. Like they're in there that you can just export it and upload it. But yeah, you are right. Sony have opened up like um, indie game, you know, publishing and stuff. It's all self publishing now. You just supply it to Sony and they look at it and say, "Yep, cool, done. We'll release it." Then. Because a few games I was having a look last night, just random stuff I've never seen before. Little indie titles, really mm. small studios, so like four people, like. Graphic designer, lead programmer, music, music, yeah, um, story, yeah, done, yeah. yeah, exactly, and which is probably like way more old school, like it would have been in you know Doom days of sort of gaming. That's and um, pretty much the way the market's gone nowadays is it's AAA indie. That's there's no middle path now. A, so yeah, yeah, there a is huge a huge divide, and I think hold up, what would the middle be? Well, there isn't anything anymore. No, everything that's tried, everything that was once a part of that is now gone. They've been absorbed by yeah. the bigger guys. Well, it's like, the cost of uh, producing a game now has like exploded so much that like they have to make a game, have like this extra content and all this extra stuff, and, and you know you, it has a to really be... big like audience base as well. Yeah, like it's got to have really broad appeal to a lot of people or mm. be super niche. What, what Marcus is sort of talking about is all the the very new IPs that used to just bang, bang, bang come out, you know, constantly all the yeah. time. Like, hey, it's well, new. But then again, it was in, like, the the dawn and sort of the start of the game. I guess game you can say there still is kind of a middle range, but it's all been released by AAA Studios. So like, Ubisoft has Rayman, Legends, yeah. or, um, all of the consoles. And there's Activision has a couple. Oh, yeah, it's like when... So, the, what's the game that's coming out, the episodic one? Um... Life is Strange. That's, 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 that's oh, been yeah. released already. Yeah, that's Square yeah, Enix. Yeah, that's, and they picked up by Square Enix, so it's yeah. a different development team, but it's produced or... What would you... Public, the, published yeah, by Square Enix. But yeah. I think the movie industry is in a similar position too. Like, yeah, there's, there's no... Ridiculous blockbuster stuff that's just like, yeah, it's pretty fun to watch, but it's pretty generic, and then there's just like super weird indie stuff. Like, yeah. there's left... Like, yeah, like 10, 15 years ago and like longer, like especially say through like the 90s, probably early like 2000s there was heaps of just like weird rubbishy middle ground movies and now and that, it's all gone yeah they of. don't exist to the same extent other than Sharknado well no but then that's still in the utter am I too far yeah um, you don't worry about getting ice cream in your mic yeah that's what I was worried about um, they're like Shark that's on the opposite end though like that's just in the super weird sort of category yeah, anyway the indie range kind yeah, of yeah pretty yeah. much um, although they yeah I couldn't imagine they'd spend that much money mm. on that movie but uh, yeah, it's just weird that all these yeah, little indie games that are happening across, never heard of them, and they're like, yeah, we're doing PC, we're doing Linux, we're doing Mac, so they're definitely like that sort of hardcore mm. indie range, and they're like, yeah, and PS4. Yeah, and PS4, well, yeah. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, okay, I'm like, and they'll be, like, in heaps of, um, given we've played a few local co-op games, mm. heap of them seem to be two-player co-op, which is awesome yeah. as well. So they're realising, yeah, this is like, you want to be able to just like crack out a really simple fun game to play with a mate which that just doesn't exist that much well, anymore well the platforms are leaning very heavily towards the internet nowadays so yeah exactly yeah. instead that's kind of been lost with the the whole four player couch co-op kind of thing so yeah which obviously once again like broad appeal when you're spending a hundred million dollars on a game and you're trying to have all these other aspects yeah, yeah having some local co-op bit isn't going to be that big of an appeal to a lot of people. Well, you got it. And looking back, like we had the small publishers which would make a game and they grew and now they're the big publishers. All right? But I haven't seen very many small publishers in the past like 10 years that have grown into like a big publisher well, without being gobbled up. Bioshock you know? Infinite's publishers are a prime example. Irrational. Yeah, irrational. They've cut back. 
Yeah. But like they don't even exist anymore. And no. But Ken Levine took all of his main public, like his five main... His good mates. Do, yeah, his good mates. All the ones that had a lot of money and he's dropped back and <laughs> making indie games or something there. Yeah. So. He's, he's I had a new to... title that like, just had little screenshots and super quirky like art. Sort yeah, of art style, yeah. like even weirder than all the Bioshocks. Well, games. they had a lot of trouble with Bioshock Infinite anyway. Well, yeah, I didn't realise that that was such, as they put it, a troubled Didn't like, it take like cycle. a year longer to come out or something? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, that was like it four was, years. Yeah, well, yeah. I, remember, I remember how, like, remember when you watched the first video and you're like, oh my god, you can do all this stuff and it's the same like, as all the abilities and then it was fairly different. It was oh, as, yeah, that's what, the, the, the art totally style changed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they redesigned her. Yeah. Like the she like lost four time. times. I've got yeah. the art book. It was like four times. Oh, I read. Yeah, I'd love to look at that. Though. So it took him about four. I times thought Bioshock right. Infinite was one of the best looking games. Like, Very like the game. aesthetic to it was yeah. just amazing. There's those moments in games where you walk out of a certain thing, you look up, mm. and it's just like the whole atmosphere. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. have to look super realistic. Oh, it just has to look pretty. The DLC when you're in Paris, mm. that's like crazy pretty. Mm. And they have just like, yeah, let's make this like a Disney movie. That was probably yep. some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen in the game. Like, I played that yesterday. But um, <laughs> a little bit behind the eight ball. But uh, I was like, yeah. And they super abuse, like, the bloom effect of a camp. Like, with the sun. But I love it. Like yeah. it's, I've never screenshotted a game as much as that game. <laughs> like, there's yeah, so many... have, I think most of your screenshots are that game. Mm. But then even you were like... That's a really cool photo. Yeah. yeah, you've got pretty quick access on me. <laughs> Shut your face. Push this one button. And I'm um, also, I feel they're almost like a running ad for the Unreal Engine. Like, yeah, there was yeah. like one. Well, bit... all games are now, aren't they? Yeah. And how many games have you seen that like you're like Unreal Engine Four, and you're like, that looks good. No, I yeah. just mean like the elements that they use. Isn't it made use. by EA? Un- Un- Unreal is made by EA, is, isn't is it? it? Unreal? No, no. Unreal is Unreal, like it's its own. Yeah. yeah. Because who, who EA has out. one that they just like whore out every single company. Yeah. I don't think no. No, I didn't no, think, I think so. Think so. Right, maybe we're all wrong. Check. We'll find yeah. out. Look at the check. Because I think like it'd, be good, it'd be good if they use that in The Sims. But, oh. you know. well, was anyone saying the Star Wars Battlefront? That's yeah. meant to be. I saw Epic an article. Games. That's meant to be. Yeah. Epic Games is who do. Yeah. Unreal. Dice are just gonna wreck it. What dice? Yeah. yeah. What are they gonna wreck? Battlefront. Yeah. They're not going to wreck that. Yeah. yeah. Wreck what do you mean they're going to wreck that? It's a Star Wars. Yeah, look. Yeah, All you have to do... Yeah, that game is fun. Star Wars is good. Mash them that together. That works You don't me. have to reinvent anything. No. no well, did you see the screenshots for what it was originally meant to be? Not for a while. Have oh, it. have a look at them. It was like meant to be exactly like Battlefront with the whole choppers and all that, but it was changed to the gunships, like the Republic gunships, and it was really good looking, so... And, and what are you saying? It's not going to be good. Well... We don't know now. What's it's the same thing? as Star Wars thirteen thirteen. That was meant to be awesome, oh, yeah, and then that got cancelled. Yeah, Damn, because Lucas you know, Arts getting bored out. Because you're Disney. Because but then Disney again, it could have like probably it. got cancelled anyway at Lucas Arts, like a lot of games. Well, that got pushed back in development anyway. So yeah, that would have been good. Oh, that would have made me enjoy Star Wars. I haven't um, talking about like Unreal Engine. There was a game which I just recently watched a trailer for called Abduction. Yeah. Have you seen yeah, that trailer? Yeah, the mother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so it look, looks really pretty. I'm like, I'm like, no, I think it's called something. I know it had other names, but at the, so, end, yeah. at the end of the game, at the end of the trailer, it just had abduction. So yeah. I'm going to call it abduction. Um, Doug, you'd, you'd, you'd be interested in this. Probably. It's, um, Tell me. You get to be a girl. First. You're, you're a mother, all right? <laughs> and at the start of like the trailer, she walks into the bedroom and there's the baby sleeping in the cot and stuff. And you go in and turn the nightlight on and leave. And then you hear these noises downstairs, so you, you wander down. You're like, "What's going on?" And, you learn, and the mother's like, <gasps> "You know, does that?" And that stuff that freaks me out. Whenever that is in a game of a character actually just breathing heavily or you know, heart pounding and stuff, that actually that, that sets me off. I'm just like, <gasps> "Oh no, something's happening!" You know. So walking downstairs, and you look into the kitchen, and the, and the light flicks on, and then you hear noises and it flicks off and stuff, and then this glowing red light just appears in the kitchen, and then I'm just like, "This is freaking me out right now." I'm just like. Shut up. All right, so she's freaking, freaking out. out. I'm freaking out. She runs upstairs and because the baby starts crying. You're spoiling the trailer for me, Luke. <laughs> I'm telling you the whole trailer. Why okay. don't you just show him the trailer, Luke? It's in my save. Let's see the trailer right now. Nah. So she runs upstairs and the child's door's closed, locked, and there's a glowing light uh, underneath the door, you know, coming through as, you know, like movie abductions, aliens and stuff like this. You can't open the door, freaking out and stuff. Finally, you get the door open, the baby stops crying. There's, like, all the toys are, like, floating mid-air in the room and stuff. No baby 
drop down to the ground and then that's pretty much near that's the not. end. Drop down to the ground, turn around, your door slams shut, and the door starts glowing. Yeah. And then it's abduction. And I'm like, to me, it reminded me of that indie game which I purchased, um, the one where you're a two year old kid. Oh, um, yeah. Into the Sleep? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Among the Sleep. Among the Sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, in like the reversal role. So yeah. you're not the two year old kid, you're the mum, so. Of. The abduction things made me think of it. Did we ever talk about the game, Reese? You showed me like to Telltale games where you have choose your action and you've got a timer, but mm-hmm. it's like the crazy serial killer is after you? Oh, um, Until Dawn. Yeah, did we yeah. ever talk about that on the podcast? I'm not no, too sure. No, we did mention it once. The, I think you mentioned it I as a game. It and then we looked you, at you, it. You were like, Doug, you'll like this. And, oh, yeah. and you watched it and you were like, no. 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 Yeah. It's like, holy shit, that would be yeah. scary. But that actually, like... Obviously, just stealing a mechanic that's been utilised. I was going to say, yeah. Xbox did that as well. They released D4, and that didn't really go far. No. Yeah, yeah, what well, was that about? Dark Dreams Don't Die. It's some guy, he's a detective, and he's on a plane or something. And his girlfriend gets killed or something like that. That's all I got into oh, it. Nice. So. But <laughs> it was that, was like, that was a free Xbox one. It was one, free yeah. last month, I think. Yeah, I've just, yeah, I've so. just got it free. So I, I wanted to give it a go because it has, um, like, Scanner Darkly. Do you guys watch that movie? No. No? Okay. Cell Shading? Right. Okay, it's that got that graphics. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I want to talk Just about Borderlands. I'll yeah. talk about Border free games yeah. in a minute, but we'll talk about it until dawn. Yeah. So, have you actually watched the trailer of it, Doug? Yeah, I watched. There was yeah. like quite a long trailer. There's, there's one way for me to find that if I get scared whilst watching gameplay of a game. And it's if I wee myself. If I'm sitting on the <laughs> toilet, right? and if I get frightened on the toilet, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty calm, I'm pretty casual on the toilet. That means it's pretty scary. Watch that aliens one on the toilet yeah. like abduction one. Um, didn't really get scared interested not scared until dawn shit myself no I didn't really shit myself I was really at least you were on the toilet I was going to say were you in the process of shitting yourself <laughs> was in the process but I did get freaked the, the crap out it was a frightening game like that game I will hopefully play it with friends well you gave Evil Within it, a bit of a go but didn't it, get freaked out that wasn't really scary it was just annoying the format <laughs> lends itself Which I'm to that style last. game yeah like as in you just have got, quick witted yeah they got specific like sort of control over the camera so it's like more like a movie they can be pumping like you know like you said just that hard breathing just mm. everything to try and get you emotionally involved and like freak you out and then you've got to make a decision well it's just it's with, just like heavy room like that game made your heart pump like crazy because you're just like yeah. shit what do I do and this one's just like instead of being like a thriller this is a horror so this is like jump scares bloody frightening things happening but I think the bits that would be just as scary is there's definitely a well, I feel there would be obviously the action sequences like they heavily show in the trailer, yeah. where it's like do 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 straight, up, you know, one thing after another. But there'd be bits where a general explore this area like between action sequences, yeah, and they would still be freaky because you're like it's you'd coming, be waiting for the or, for yeah. the next thing. Yeah. Um, actually, on that too, uh, because I'm yeah playing the DLC finally now for Bioshock. Um, is that it just re remind me of like how obvious the area is like you clear out an area or you like walk through to a new area you're like oh yeah it's empty yeah, it's and then you, down. you go through and then you come back and you're like damn it there's stuff everywhere. yeah <laughs> it's yeah. like hell. where did that where did that health pack appear from yeah. actually and then they um where the, I actually got lost a fair bit in the first DLC I realised yeah. Yeah, I well, I heard a lot of people were talking about that. Where I was like really struggling to get from area to area. Yeah, just so. it happened. I think a fair bit in the original Bioshock um, that I, I sort of remember getting lost. And in but in Bioshock Infinite, I never really used that arrow system on oh, the ground. I used never, that all ever. the time. Oh, I got lost a couple of times. In yeah, that I game. don't think I ever. Used, I might have had a couple of times where I backtracked, but I never got lost long enough to use it. In this, because you're searching around for grates on the wall, um, I just missed areas. And I, like, actually, the reason I played consistent chunk of it probably a couple months ago, and then I'd got to, like, what was essentially the final boss fight, and I hadn't found all the things. And I was like, well, now I'm annoyed because I've got three of five, and I can't be bothered backtracking. What, what do you have to get? Have you, you played it? Yeah. You know, where you the thing up on the wall can't remember. I can't remember this. The I'm little right kids it. in the in the heating grates, yeah. and you've got to shut all the, the oh, grates yeah, yeah, on the wall, and you had to get like yeah, yeah, to get five or something like that. I must have just didn't go into some areas. Yeah. 
And then I had I then really heavily used the arrow system. Well, I remember watching you play Bioshock and when a whole chest of drawers were flashing and glowing, <laughs> you missed them. Yeah, but then we found it was because my brightness was turned down on my I monitor. I saw it. You were on a different angle, you jerk. Yeah, no, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's interesting to see like what um, like a game would sort of say, hey, look at this, you know, for a non colorblind person compared to like someone like so how'd, you go, how'd you go playing Uncharted 3 then like no, in going, the fire areas where it was like it'd show you clear, clearly where you had to go I was going to say in um, like same guys but for Last now for, yep I const- like constantly missed the ledges where they painted ledges yellow. freaking yeah. yellow yeah. Yeah. and they oh. just I over yeah. whether that's a, just I overlook game mechanics all the time or literally just the fact that it was yellow until I noticed it and then I'm like oh that's where I have to go I'm like oh it's freaking yellow how did you not notice it but I honestly mm-hmm. mustn't stand out as much for me and I do miss ledges all the time it was the same on a real life thing went rock climbing <laughs> and, um, and there was a glowing yellow ledge <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and then I overshot I don't bring someone on the roof <laughs> first time ever does those like, yellow ones all the way up the wall <laughs> what What are you talking about let's go for a, a like a indoor rock a climbing walk, a walk a walk a bush walk it was meant to I thought we were just climbing a mountain why do you call that a I, walk I, or a hike yeah I put words together yeah. <laughs> and um, a walk and a hike a walk <laughs> Um, or and a was, then it turned into just full on half scaling a side of a mountain. That was fine. It's like, Doug, just follow the really obviously marked pink track on the light stone that you're climbing. Yep. No. Didn't notice it. Yeah. And I was like, until I was like staring at it. But when you're sort of like fairly vertically up trying to grab stuff, I'm like, I don't know where. He's like, it's really obvious. I'm like, can't see it. <laughs> that is not, not there, man. That's not helping me at all. So, not good in real life. That that feature of my eyes, yep. not a feature yep. I'd recommend. Uh, Rock climbing. Some might say you have a disability. Yeah, yeah, I reckon. And uh, <laughs> I'm sure to keep those cones in. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, not not that good in games either. But yeah, uh, yeah I actually then use the assists. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do. <laughs> How long More did it than... take you to play The Last of Us then? Considering you couldn't see the ledges. No, I got there, but it was just occasionally I'd be like... Well, I us just say the game came out like three yeah, years ago. Yeah. Dokes <laughs> yeah, so just recently I'm playing like the three years ago. That's all right, I got it still so unplayed it. What? Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> I got it still so unplayed it. I <sighs> need to get around to playing it. That's was, probably next on my list. I was actually a wanting to Lucas, but uh, what to you as well? You should definitely play yeah, it. You haven't played yeah. I've got it. haven't played For it yet. It's one, of, it's, one of like, it's one of my like six PS4 games, and I haven't played it yet. Should we redo this episode? I'm sorry, should we just... Like I said, let's go home. Yeah, we need to get him off the podcast. Oh. <laughs> well, I had a very, very eventful weekend. Eventful? Yeah, weekend. you did. You played yeah. a lot of games. I, uh, and we're let out us of know. time. I had a, <laughs> we're yeah. out of time. Let us know in the next 10 minutes. I had a uh, sweet as game party that you two jerks didn't come to. Why? Like us, yeah. Sorry, didn't invite you. Oh, that was, the, that was the message that Kieran got. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, were you out with him? Yes, yes. we were. Kieran, Kieran was out with Margaret. Kieran was invited. <laughs> what, was Kieran, what, what, did, what did he say? He was like, mm, I'm not going to go. No, we, we rocked up at one of our mates' house and we're like, oh. And we, we quite literally picked him up and he was like, Kieran, did you ring him? Or it was I a message. Messaged him. Yeah, yeah. message him. He was like, oh, I could go to a game night tonight. And he's like, I'm going to go drink instead. Oh, that's exactly, that's what, he said exactly to me. what it was like. He he's said like, that to me, but he's gone. I could go out drinking, but I really want a game with you guys and have fun. Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah, he's an absolute freak, isn't he? He's like, <laughs> what a jerk. He's like, I'll probably and we go. Now he won't listen to the podcast. Yeah, exactly. Call it what, what a jerk. Want. So all I said, he said was, oh, hey man, no, sorry, can't make it. I just messaged back, dog, and he didn't reply. So I was fine. I was happy about that. Well, he was like, oh. I'll go out, drink, and I'll just go out and play Minecraft. That's what he was like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's exactly what he was like. Well, we had, this is the thing, we had plenty, he had plenty of time to come over because the game night started from 6pm and we didn't finish till 6am. So... Oh, we still would have made it. Yeah, played... <laughs> we were still out at that time. Played 12 hours of games, probably the longest I've ever played games for in my life. That's pretty epic. Yeah, we finished at about 5.15. And then took yeah, me don't about, exaggerate. Took me about yeah. 15 minutes to <laughs> back up all the cables minutes. and everything and then went to bed. What did you have six. for dinner that night? Pizza. Good so we went that's full, a, that's we, a we game. full geeked out. So yeah. Pizza, Coke. Fanta? Oh, yeah. no. No. No Fanta. No, no Fanta. Pizza. Why Fanta? Fanta? And a bag of minties. <laughs> Seemed like a thing. A bag <laughs> oh. of family-sized minties. Oh, your jaw would have been sore. Yeah, it was. My teeth hurt. 
Ja, det är fan. Så jag, jag stoppar in en natt i Let us know. Ja, yeah, det är fan. Ja, det är fan. I'm stressed. Oh, worry about it. Oh, sorry. So the games we played was GDA 5, um, Far Cry 4 and The Last of Us. Except yeah, you wrote no, Lou. Yeah, Last of Us. <laughs> no headphones? No headphones, no. Just went the yeah, open so room. So it was fine. Like, yeah, I, think, I, I wanted to join in. Was this? There was four TVs in the room. Yeah. And I thought that all my mates would bring 32 inches. No, no. <laughs> what did they bring? No, they brought big ones. <laughs> Only one of my mates brought like a little one, but all the other mates brought like probably... I think 46 inch TVs 50 inch, or 50 TV. inch TVs that was bigger that. than my TV yeah, yeah yeah. I think they were bigger than your TV yeah. so yeah it's huge ones and I was like whoa and then one of my mates was like yeah I don't I don't think I feel good luck looking down on the TV and I was like shut the fuck up just play your game and he's he like wanted oh, to had raise to, it had to move back my head hurting a bit <laughs> alright fine so um, so yeah we played we started on GDA played Shit ton of GDA. What, like, you started on GTA? Started on GTA, and we moved to other ones. Okay, yeah. We always went back to Because you only messaged me at, like, 11 o'clock to play GTA. Yeah. So well, what did you get prepared? Did you have dinner and, like, set up of the big TVs? Yeah. And... Well, okay, so we probably didn't play 12 hours. We probably played 11 and a half hours, or right? Getting all technical in. No, because you plus stopped at 6 to 5. Yeah. It's still only 11, 11, 15. So, it's so it's 10 and a half. down. Yeah, 10 and a half. My but that's good. No, toilet breaks it's, um, dinner, dinner. Yeah, did you what was stop the yeah, game night started <laughs> the problem is though see I would have been pretty frustrated by the time I started playing games like think how annoyed I get setting up stuff and I'm like just want to be doing it now whereas you were already set up yeah so you definitely had like you hosted the night but that definitely made your life easier did you provide power boards uh, I did have sure. some power boards, but I told friends to bring some over as well. Are. It would have sucked um, if there was a line. My friend strike. also brought yeah. a massive Netgear router. Oh, router so well. I connected all that from Leeds coming through my house. Mrs. wasn't too happy, but she's right. You just um, shoved it down the back of the house. She went out clubbing, and then I went out and picked her up. She went then, out with Kieran. And then I literally <laughs> said, we went and picked her up. and I'm oh, like, I seen her at the they, were, they, were, they were dancing away, pulled up beside them, they were singing. I said, get in the bloody car, got in the car. Drove home and halfway through there, I said, "When we get home, I'm going to get straight back on my game." <laughs> you go to bed. She was like, so she was like, "Just turn around and go back to the car." She came down, lay in the lounge room, tried to talk, and I was like, "We're playing GTA." Yeah. Yeah. I but laughed and called you a geek because I knew she would laugh. Did you? And, uh, yeah. She was like, "Yeah, you're such a geek." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. like, then I giggled to myself and kept going. But God, that just GDA <laughs> with GDA with all your mates around is just one. Yeah. Just the funnest game. We like, did do. Play, on, you, yeah, we yeah, did a land yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, we had done that before. That was, that was cool. Playing online with each other is fun, but like just the fact that everyone's in the same room, you can all feel each other's humour and have a bit of a giggle. You know, it's just. It's heartfelt. We could start a GDA <laughs> oh, cafe. <laughs> you what? We could just start a GDA games cafe. Yeah, we could. People yeah. would pay for that. Be a good experience. Yeah, it would be. And Do- we also say the other games, Far Cry 4, the one I think I'm disappointed about Far Cry 4 is there's no just straight up death match. No, like, it's that elephant capture the thing. Yeah, like there's it? just yeah. El- elephant el- capture. There is. Thing. That's all I remember. Thing. There's it is. propaganda thing. There's another one. Like, But they're all just like pretty similar. Go on... Capture, capture something, capture that, do that, rip down yeah. posters or blow up shit. But all I wanted was they could have just had straight up guns or straight up arrows and you just kill each other. Well, Far Cry 3 had that. Why couldn't yeah. they put in Far Cry 4? Exactly. Race, they, were any of these games actually LAN or they were just you were all, all connected online. to your all internet? To the internet. So yeah, that's not you... a LAN party. Yeah, it was internet at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Internet, oh, no. internet so, at one premise. Did you, I said I had a games no. party. How did you find um, the like sort of, yeah response no, time? Perfect, yeah. absolutely perfect. The um, I think that like there was probably like if someone was the winner of a mission or something like that or they started a mission when it loaded they, they would load like a second earlier but that was it like other than that when you're in the game it's just real time everything's moving at the same time which is freaking sweet like are you flaring your nostrils? <laughs> no. Fuck that. No, Marcus like, was giving crazy. me the, the crazy eyes. Yeah. <laughs> that definitely would have happened out my ass. Um, yeah it just worked awesome so like the only reason I had this is because I updated the internet got good internet so do you have MBN? shut up no um you don't yet. I don't. Yeah. I live at a tabletop. That's like nothing. So Far Cry 4 was pretty disappointing. Yeah, that's like, uh uh-huh. We played Far Cry 4 for like maybe 20 minutes, not even that. Because like, thing, yeah. And it was, just, it was just boring. Like with yeah. just four people, because you didn't want to play straight, like with everyone else. Reese, one major concern I have is, did you have popcorn? 
No, we didn't have popcorn. Well, then it's not a game tonight. Not good for your teeth. Yeah, neither of them. I mean, teeth. No. No, I found that out. <laughs> um, you didn't know that beforehand? No, I did know that because I did the last game's party and hurt my mouth too. Um, <laughs> oh, that's what we did. And Last of Us. Last of Us is awesome online. One of the yeah, best online good. games yeah. that I've yeah. played just because it's so. I've got to play that. It's such a creative way to play just deathmatch or capture flight. Did you play it on 2v2 or. Uh, yes, yeah, but then we, I think we started playing online with other people as well. But the friend that like prefers GTA 5. Cracked the circle and was like, nah, I'm not playing it, I've got to play single player, the controls are weird, I'm just button mashing. When another guy that was there had never played the game before and he was like, it's fun. But the other guy just bitched out. Wait, so that's why you had the chance of GDA? Yeah, we were yeah, back GDA again. GDA, which, which was freaking awesome. And GDA. the fact that, like, I looked at the clock, it was three o'clock, and I'm like, whoa, guys, pretty late. They just like, we're good. Got to like 5.15, we're like, all right, this is my last game. Played it, still felt awake. And I looked outside, I'm like, oh shit, the sun's coming up. Ooh. So. It was good, go bud. It was very, yeah, very, very. Would good. you? Okay, question. Would you do it again? Yes. Okay. Will you do it again? Yes. Uh, are we can doing you it start tomorrow? it at no. lunchtime okay. so that it can finish as an hour that you I'll just be like, like <laughs> be a normal person and just nerd it out for one day properly? Yeah, I can until like, like twelve. Yeah, I need to and wake up at four a.m. And you could you could have stayed awake and you could have done your little five thirty morning no. walk. You could just go there, play it, and then fall asleep. I think no, because I'm, I stared at the TV for so long. I was not tired. The only reason I went to sleep was because I went to bed and forced myself to go to sleep. But like I could have stayed up. I've done that before. Yeah, yeah. You it's just crazy. you just keep playing your game. Just and winging next second is four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I've never done that. Like maybe till one. You're just so mature. Oh. No, I just like get tired. Can't help it. Tired. Schmied. It's not like oh, I really should go to bed, so I'm going to do it as a decision. <laughs> it's just like I'm like too tired. I think it's just Actually, because there's so many people that in the room. You were, you were there at the games night I hosted, were you? No, I missed it. Oh, you missed it? Yeah. Okay, well then, you were there. No, he misses all of them, he doesn't decide to shop <laughs> to Then you're like, them. every time after a podcast, I'm like, you guys are here, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to bed. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like much. Much. Says, where's Doug going? And he's in bed. That's like, cool. Okay, that's weird, we're just in his house. Yeah. Soon it'll start getting to the point where you leave halfway through the podcast like you freaking did in this one and get some ice cream. Yeah. And I was already G'd up before all that sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, whoa! <laughs> 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 Calm down. Um, do we have much more time left on the podcast? Yeah, we've got a couple of minutes. Yeah, well, so, Marcus. No, yes. No. <laughs> I've got one more thing I want to talk about. The, I did get a free Put game. Put that pen down, for, young man. I did get a free game for PlayStation um, Which last one was month, it? I think it was. The PS3. Um, Deadly Premonition. I saw that right. No, it wasn't last month, it was the month before. Okay, a month before. Yeah. Oh my god, that game is horrible. Like, you know, wasn't it made by the same people that did. Heavy Rain, or was it a different no, studio? No, no, no. no Beyond Two Souls was... Beyond Two Souls yeah. and Fahrenheit and all that's by those guys. Um, but D- Deadly Premonition, the director's cut. Now, I thought being a director's cut, this game would be good. This game yeah. has a cult following, I think, because of how ridiculously shit yeah. it is. I, it's like The Room. The movie The Room. <laughs> like, really? As bad as that is, that's awesome. But just forcing myself to play it, I didn't want to put so much time into it because it was frustrating. Like, the start of it... The voice acting, the acting, everything in it is just dumb. Everything they say just doesn't make any sense. And then, like, it even comes down to a bit when you crashed a car, there was a couple of squirrels on the ground. They looked shocked and they made monkey noises and they ran away. And I was like, I was like, is this for real? Is this like the director's choice to change the sounds of this shit? And then, like, when they're talking, like, all the actions, like, a lot of the animations are just repeated over and over again. Like, when he's thinking, he's just tapping his chest, doing this little weird stuff. The creatures that come after you aren't frightening at all, and when you shoot them, this is what they do. Don't want to die. <laughs> it's like shit that I would have done when I was like 10, making flash animations. And I was like, every time I did that, I showed a friend playing it and he just pissed himself laughing, because it's just ridiculous. I have to point out, you remember we were talking about the other game, D4? Yeah. Same guy that made it. Really? Yep. That's where I remembered it from. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So D4 is... Uh, is that a horrible two game? hero. Uh, no, it popped out of nowhere, so it was like, it was a reasonably rated game, yeah. but no one brought it, the, because this, it this, came out of nowhere. Just This game is just... It horrible. must have a cult following the same way as like uh, House of the Dead has a cult following. You know how that's yeah. like we, we're meeting G over there. Me. That's what the whole. Oh, really? Yeah, that's very similar to that. Just like super shit. I mean, I was just like, yeah, it would be funny enough to play, but I just can't put in effort. I'd rather play like The Witcher Two or something that I want to put some time in. Back when it oh. came out, people compared it to Twin Peaks. So what was Twin Peaks? Twin Peaks was the the weird 
quirky and no one really knows what really happened at the end TV show about a murder in a small town. Right. Yeah. That's pretty much what this game's about. Weird, quirky yep. video game about yep. a murder in a small town. Do you yeah. know who else is weird and quirky? Tim Schafer. Did you know what was released this week? Grim Fandango. Ah. And we played that, and we're going to play more of it, and we'll talk about it next week. We oh. can't even talk, can't talk about it a little bit, nah. Lucas. Sorry, Doug. We're you out are time. a jerk. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> We talk. We call this the Reese cast. <laughs> Whatever, Reese and Marcus. Actually, we'll probably start getting some more downloads. more likes, I reckon, because yeah. Reese featured a bit heavier. Yeah. I think it's Marcus. He'll bring. Yeah, he's he'll gonna, share it'll the be, podcast. Bring the DLs. We'll bring it in. It'll be the Mark cast. The Mark. Oh. <laughs> and on that hey, note, so you're going to be the host now, Marcus and Luke. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks, Marcus. Yep. That's all right. Yeah. On that note, what done? Thanks for listening. Remember yeah. to like us on Facebook. Yep. Tweet or you can like, yeah, tweet at us. If you're listening to us on iTunes, please give us a review. That would be awesome. Or even just like or just us a on like. Just give us yeah. a star. You can rate a us. A star yeah. rating. Just a star. It's a five star <laughs> rating system. We prefer more than a star. But it's a start. It's you a know, start. We'll it's a start. A What's star. What's this Facebook? No, iTunes. 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 Oh, they can, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, rate us. Yeah, rate us. <laughs> and then it pushes it up the yeah. iTunes list, yeah. which and is don't a huge forget, issue. And don't rate it on Luke's looks. <laughs> rate it on the podcast and the quality. No, my looks would probably get more. Oh, yeah, true. What? <laughs> <laughs> it says nothing it? about our podcast. Yeah, cares about it so much. <laughs> Shut up, you guys. Okay, we are also on YouTube. And yeah. this is the video on the YouTube, so we're waving to you now. <laughs> this is also the audio um, So we're Waving talking to you, to you in your mind We're blowing mm. Yeah But if you're what? on our YouTube You can also find Reviews And just other A couple of Let's Plays and Unboxings and Some other quirky videos Of people farting on people Yeah, yeah. that's pretty funny <laughs> <laughs> I'd laugh at that um, You should definitely go on there You can win some stuff At the moment Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, we're giving away some... We're giving uh, away some headsets. Turtle Beach headsets. Mm-hmm. So which review do they have to check out? The... Tom and Marcus. <laughs> the Turtle Beach Z60. <laughs> nah, wrong. Uh, no, that's... that's and right. There will be one, but it's not posted yet. No, oh, will be. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's in the future. Yeah. It's the... Uh, which Look, Sentinel, Marty McFly yeah, over Sentinel. here. Oh. The Sentinel Task Force Call yeah. of Duty headsets. Yeah, check out that. Oh, that's it's true. got the mm-hmm. details how to win some yeah, headphones for Xbox One or... Yeah. Marcus, would you like to win them? You're not out of no, no. Anyone that's been Just on the podcast. But would he like to win them? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'll win them. I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the same video. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're on video. <laughs> All right, thanks yeah. everybody for listening and watching. We are yeah, the Trusty again. Crowbar. I'm Luke Swinningslow. I'm Reese Swinningslow. Doug the Sprite. And I'm Marcus Reed. Yep. Correct, sir. Peace out. Thanks for coming on, Marcus. That's all right. Thanks for listening. Did you get enough drink? Yeah, he's cool. cool. No, I ran out.